What is going on guys? It's winter here in San Francisco. I'm gonna go get it in an emergency nine with my classic clubs. So uh, I finally got the Hogan Apex from uh, 84 all cleaned up. We're ready to go take a little look. I rounded out the classic set with a Ben Hogan sand wedge and a TP Mills Spalding putter. I am gonna take my modern three wood uh, just in case I can't get the ball in the air this morning because it's 40 degrees out. Let's go. Well, I striped my drive down the middle, but that is my modern club. Trying to find out how the blades feel this morning. All right, I've got 182 to the pin, and there's a coyote. It's gonna come say hi. If you're ever out visiting in San Francisco and you see one of these guys, they're not dogs, they're coyotes. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they're pretty domesticated in a sense. All right, well, I guess he's gonna watch me hit. All right, buddy, watch out. Watch out. Keep moving, brother. Well, for being 40 degrees, that felt really good. I <laughs> uh, caught that one really well. Um, so the thing about older clubs is, uh, as manufacturers have tried to get more distance out of irons, they just cheat. So old five irons are like today's six or seven irons. So I hit that five iron really good, but it came up about 20 yards short of the green. Let's see if I can make an up and down. Hi, buddy. I had one fifty five, and I think I just airmailed the green. I took uh, two extra clubs from my modern. <laughs> yeah, might have been a little bit too much. It is cold this morning. The ball doesn't travel quite as well when it's chilly. So we'll see. Might be another up and down try. par. I should probably talk about my new putter, my new old putter. This is the classic putter, TP Mills for Spalding. And uh, yeah, she's a beaut. Let's go. Okay, I'm on the fourth hole, par three, 140, and I finally got a green in regulation. Let's see if I can make the putt. It's a bit of a menagerie out here this morning at Fleming. I don't think I mentioned where I was. So in Daly City in San Francisco, there's TPC Harding Park, which will be hosting this year's PGA Championship for the men's tour. They also have a nine hole course called the Fleming nine hole course. That's where I'm playing today. And it's very early. There's literally only like one other twosome on the course. That's why I can get all these videos. Okay, hole five update. I'm three bogeys, two pars. So three over after five. Uh, I made another long putt right there from about seven feet for par. Uh, so the old vintage putter is working. Gotta find the uh, distance still with the blades, but here we go. Hole six. 
In my defense, I didn't test the yardage on any of these irons, so I just hit four iron on this 200 yard par three. As you can see, I'm about 30 yards short, and uh, I actually hit it pretty good. <laughs> so I don't know, <laughs> not getting much distance this morning out of these irons, but uh, here we go, another up and down. The feel on these irons is incredible. Uh, when you hit the sweet spot, it feels like that pure buttery feel that you love on a forged iron. I uh, haven't actually hit one too bad yet. I caught one off the heel a little bit and flared one out to the right. Uh, it didn't really feel that bad um, and it still flew plenty far. Um, they feel great. I just, you know, first round out, the uh, yardages are all a little bit of a guess. But for now on, last couple holes, I'm going to take two extra clubs and see if I can get on the green here. <laughs> the putter, putter is the start of the day. Hole eight. So I'm four over, four bogeys, three pars. I've got a 260 yard par four, which if I was hitting my normal clubs, I'd probably just try to cut a driver up there toward the green. But since I'm testing out these irons, I'm gonna lay back with like a five iron and then hopefully have a short iron in, see if I can get the feel for these distances. Let's go. <laughs> it feels so good. They're not going anywhere. Whew. I love them and also I miss my modern irons. All right, I couldn't have hit that one any better. I literally have 100 yards left, a perfect yardage, uh, right on the left side of the fairway, perfect angle. Come on, we gotta make a birdie here. Normally, 100 yards, I would hit a, my gap wedge. And I have no idea, so I'm gonna try two clubs, go with the nine iron, see if we can stuff one in there. Oh, I've hit it great. See the right club. Oh, okay. We got a birdie putt on the back of the green. I'm actually really proud of myself for getting it to the back of the green. I have a tendency to leave stuff short, so let's see if we can make this birdie putt. Oh, I thought it was gonna slide left. Shoot. Once again, <laughs> I'm right on line and uh, short. So it's the theme of the day. But uh, yeah, real happy with how these feel. Just, you know, if I dial in the yardages, it could be a, could be a nice fun day. Let's see if we can get up and down here. Go in. Oh, we almost made birds with it. Not putter. Hard to last. It's a good day. Okay, that concludes my emergency nine at Fleming with the classic bag. Shot 34, uh, par 30, so four bogeys, five pars, which honestly is a little bit better than I normally play. It is obviously a shorter course, so it's uh, you know not super difficult, pretty straightforward, but I was happy with uh, the up and downs I was able to make, considering I was short on so many of the greens uh, and approaches, but uh, if I dialed those in, Honestly, the irons felt great, putter worked great. I really like the uh, equalizer wedge that came with this set. Um, I actually put that in my regular bag. I was uh, chipping it so well around the green, but uh, all right, I'm out of here. See you next time.